हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू फाइन सो इन ओर लास्ट लैक्चर और वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एन एस्ट्रोलॉजर डे एन इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी विच इज रिटर्न बाय आर के नारायण एंड इन दिस वीडियो I am going to discuss or teach you about the one of the greatest or important poem in English literature stopping by woods on a snowy evening which is written by Robert Frost he was a natural poet we can say he was a poet of nature so this is very interesting poem this poem shows the conflict between beauty and duty so let's start with the presentation stopping by woods on a snowy evening is a poem written by robert frost there are four stanzas in the poem stopping by woods on a snowy evening is a poem written in 1922 by robert frost and published in 1923 in his new hampshire volume imagery and personification are prominent in the work okay so as i told you this is poem so you can see figures of speech in the poem like simile metaphor pun personification hyperbole etc so imagery and personification are prominent in the work in a letter to louis hentmeyer frost called it my best bit of remembrance okay so frost called this poem my best bid for remembrance okay so this is original poem which i took from the internet so let's read whose woods this are i think i know his house in the village though he will not see me stopping here to watch it woods fill up with snow my little horse must think it queer to stop without a farm house near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year he gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sounds the sweep it of easy wind and downy flake the woods this line is very important the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promised to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep okay so uh, this is wonderful poem an interesting poem which shows the conflict internal conflict between beauty and duty Frost wrote the poem in June 1922 at his house in Sapsbury, Vermont. He had been up the entire night writing a long poem, New Hampshire, and had finally finished when he realized morning had come. Okay, so uh, this is what when he. had wrote the uh, written this poem 
and had finally finished when he realized he went out to view the sunrise and suddenly got an idea for stopping by woods on a snowy evening okay so when he went to see the sunrise so he suddenly got an idea to write this poem he wrote he wrote the new poem about the snowy evening and the little horse if he had a hallucination in just a few minutes without strain so the poem is written in iambic tetrameter okay so this is meter meter એટલે કે છંદ આપણે જે છંદ કહીએ છીએ જેમ ગુજરાતીમાં છંદ છે અનુષ્ટો મંદાક્રાંતા એવી રીતે ઇંગ્લિશમાં પણ છંદ હોય છે એક્ઝા મીટર ટેટ્રામીટર આયમ્બિક પેન્ટામીટર ઓકે સો આ કવિતા ધ પોએમ ઇઝ રિટન ઇન આયમ્બિક ટેટ્રામીટર ધીસ ઇઝ યોર જનરલ ક્વેશ્ચન વિચ ઇઝ ઇન બુક uh if you want to read i have also send in our i have also sent in our google classroom so you can get from there stopping by woods on a snowy evening is a delightful poem written by robert frost the woods are so beautiful that the poet is tempted to stop there so this is a poem about the natural beauty once a po- uh, once a poet rides on his horse and when he entered into the woods he saw the beauty of nature it was a winter so and uh, and it was a darkest evening of the year so he was tempted to see beauty of the nature but after he remember that he had performed his duty so at last the poem gives the message that you cannot sacrifice your duty in order to enjoy beauty okay so tempted to stop there but the but he cannot he has to move to fulfill his duty one winter evening the poet rides upon his horse and moves into the wood he knows the owner of the woods who live in a village he will not see the poet stop, uh, poet stopping there watching his uh, woods covered with snow okay so uh, this is uh poem or this uh, appreciation of poem which you will you can read uh, from here also and from pdf book also okay so let's see so theme of the poem peaceful scene of man with his horse who stopped between the woods and the frozen lake with snow all around him okay so uh, there is a, there was a falling of snow around him so this is a beautiful natural scenario keeping promises means duties the poet has to perform some duties traveling miles okay conflict between duty and beauty torn mood atmosphere the poem has a sad melancholy or calm tone the tone of the poem is sad because poet wanted to enjoy the beauty uh, the beauty of nature but he couldn't okay because he has to perform some duties for his family the main emotion in the poem is called the mood atmosphere of mystery calm tranquil unfearful and silence okay so the atmosphere of mystery because mystery 
is related to forest or the deep understanding of woods calm tranquil if you visit forest in a winter season you can see the you can feel calmness or you can feel the peace of the forest unfearful and silence the atmosphere of the poem is linked to the setting of the poem dangerous wild risky uh here is a symbol of wood woods temptation in nature life beauty and mystery of death world means woods describe the beauty and mystery of death world village society and civilization okay so uh, owner of the wood is lived in village so it described the society and civilization snow the beauty of death so this is also symbol repetition so repetition is very important because this is a one this is one kind of sonnet so repetition is when words or phrases are repeated in poem okay so repetition એટલે શું કે જ્યારે કોઈ શબ્દ અથવા કોઈ ફ્રેઝ એ વારંવાર કવિતામાં રિપીટ થાય જેમ કે નીચે તમે જોઈ શકો છો એન્ડ માય સ્ટુ ગો બિફોર આઈ સ્લીપ એન્ડ માય સ્ટુ ગો બિફોર આઈ સ્લીપ એલિટરેશન એલિટરેશન એટલે જે શબ્દ છે એનો જે આલ્ફાબેટ છે એનું વારંવાર ઉચ્ચારણ થાય જેમ કે તમે સ્ટાન્ઝા ફર્સ્ટમાં તમે જોઈ શકો છો એચ સાઉન્ડ હુઝ હિઝ હાઉસ હી હિયર હિઝ ડબલ્યુ સાઉન્ડ વુડ્સ વીલ વોચ વુડ એસ સાઉન્ડ સી સ્ટોપિંગ સ્નો એમ સાઉન્ડ માય મોસ્ટ એલ સાઉન્ડ લિટલ લેક એચ સાઉન્ડ હોર્સ ફાર્મ હાઉસ એપ સાઉન્ડ ફાર્મ હાઉસ ફ્રોઝન સ્ટાન્ઝા થ્રી એચ સાઉન્ડ હિઝ હી હાર્નિસ એચ સાઉન્ડ આસ્ક સમ મિસ્ટેક સાઉન્ડ સ્વીપ સ્ટાન્ઝા ફોર ડી સાઉન્ડ ડાર્ક ડીપ ઓકે સો ધીઝ ઇઝ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ વેન યુ વીલ રાઈટ ધીસ ક્વેશ્ચન ઇન યુઅર એક્સટર્નલ ઇન્ટરનલ એક્ઝામ યુ શુડ હેવ રિટર્ન ધીસ some additional information uh, on a snowy winter evening a traveler and his horse stopped at wooded edmanus snow falling okay so je uh, atmosphere hatu je vatavarn hatu ena vakhan karva mate ubha rahe che he is almost spell bound by the scene before him his horse become impatient and bring the speaker of his reveries સો જ્યારે ઊભા રહે છે ત્યારે જે હોર્સ હોય છે જે ઘોડો એને અચૂકતું લાગે છે મીન્સ કે ત્યાં આજુબાજુ નજીકમાં કોઈ ફાર્મ હાઉસ હોતું નથી તો એ હોર્સ સિમ્બોલ છે શેનો સિમ્બોલ છે એ પોતાની પોતાના ગળામાં રહેલી કંટડી વગાડીને પોએટને યાદ કરાવે છે કેમ કે પોએટ એ જંગલની બ્યુટી જોઈને એની ડ્યુટી ભૂલી ગયો હતો અને આ જે હોર્સ છે એને એની ડ્યુટી રિમેમ્બર કરાવે છે ધ સ્પીકર કન્ટેમ્પલેટ્સ ધ બ્યુટી ઓફ સીન બિફોર હિમ બટ હી ઇઝ ફોર્સ ટુ રિયલાઇઝ દેટ હી હેઝ અધર રિસ્પોન્સિબિલિટી ટુ મીટ ધ થીમ આઇસોલેશન ધ બ્યુટી ઓફ નેચર કન્ટેમ્પલેશન નેચરલ વર્લ્ડ ઇન્ડિવિડ્યુઅલ ઇન અ રૂરલ સેટિંગ ઓકે સો ધીસ ઇઝ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ધીસ ઇઝ અ ફોર્મ ઓફ એન્ડ સ્ટ્રક્ચર and rhyme scheme you can see the rhyme scheme ke je ant ma je pras thato hoy antya nu pras athe pa apne gujarati ma em kahiye to rhyme scheme shu che pehli four line ni a a b a b b c b c c d c ane last ma badhaj shabdo ma ek je vi rhyme scheme jova male che d d d d to ek aa be vastu yaad rakhvanu ek iambic ટેટ્રામીટર માં આ પોયમ લખાવી લખાયેલી છે એન્ડ એ એ બી એ બી બી સી બી સી સી ડી સી અને ડી 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 ઓકે સો ધીસ ઇઝ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ સેટિંગ 
આનું સેટિંગ ક્યાં કરવામાં આવેલું છે મીન્સ કે ક્યાં લખવામાં આવી છે તો આપણે આગળ જોઈ ગયા પણ છતાં આપણે જોઈ લઈએ છીએ સ્ટોપિંગ બાય વુડ્સ ઓન અ સ્નોવી ઇવનિંગ ઇઝ સેટ ઇન નોર્થન વુડ્સ ફ્રોસ્ટ વ્રોડ ધ પોયમ ઇન અ વિલેજ ઓફ ફ્રાન્કોનિયા એન એચ એન્ડ ઇટ ઇઝ બિલીવ ડેટ અ વુડ્સ નિયર ફ્રાન્કોનિયા આર વોટ ઇન્સ્પાયર્ડ હિમ ઓકે સો અહીંયા એવું પણ કહેવામાં આવે છે કે આ વુડ્સ ફ્રાન્કોનિયાની નજીક જે જંગલ હતું એ રોબર્ટ ફ્રોસ્ટને લખવા માટે ઇન્સ્પાયર કરે છે એન્ડ ધેટ ફ્રેન્કોનિયા ઇઝ એકચ્યુઅલી ધ વિલેજ મેન્સન ઇન ધ પોયમ ધ ટાઈમ ઓફ ધ પોયમ ધ ડાર્કેસ્ટ નાઇટ ઓફ ધ યર કે એ વર્ષની સૌથી વધારે ડાર્કેસ્ટ નાઇટ હોય છે ઇટ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો બિલીવ ધેટ હિઝ રિફર્સ ટુ ધ વિન્ટર્સ સોલ્ટીસ ઓર ધ લોંગેસ્ટ નાઇટ ઓફ ધ યર ઓકે સો ઇટ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ which is in december 21st or 22nd okay so uh, it may be asked in your exam so uh, this is a uh, one kind of stories that uh, like uh, frost enter to the woods he shows the beauty of woods and he jump from his horse and then in image for you can see the horse remembered his duties then suddenly he remembered his duties and then in the last image he went from there okay so this is just like a comic story okay you can read this is a photos of robert frost you can see different photo in your right hand you can see the photo of robert frost in his young age and his old age you can see so uh, we have completed two one story and one poem and these two are very very important f- for your exam or and from next video i will teach you direct speech and indirect speech till that time you should read and understand an astrologer day and stopping by woods on a snowy evening if you have any problem or query regarding the, uh, regarding these videos so you can ask me any time so read at your home with safety okay uh, thank you very much for your cooperation i hope that you will read at your home this is very important this time is very important for you okay so thank you very much once again